Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We had new content today on Friday in FIFA Ultimate Team with the preseason promo. I want to talk about it. Originally, I didn't think I was going to get a video up for you guys today, but here we are. We're getting it done, all right? You have to dress up account as well. Uh, this is the first thing I want to talk about today, this Lone Icon Moments Pack. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at the objectives like super duper intact. Wait, this is a non-boards. What is this pack animation, bro? Anyways, uh, I think these icons might have something to do with objectives, maybe? Maybe not yet? Oh, Maldini, nice, GG's. Um, but they give us those five uh, Prime Icon Moments cards today, and we have Road to the Final stuff to discuss as well. Mason Greenwood's SBC finally came out in this game. Three-star skill moves, yuck. Five-star weak foot, though. Uh, I wish they would have upgraded that weak foot, or excuse me, the skill moves. That would have been sick. For Mason Greenwood, but all of you, GGMU fans are feeling great at the moment, and we got to talk about the other Road to the Final uh, upgrades that actually happened. Europa League Road to the Final cards got upgraded today, so that's something that we need to look at, as well as talk about Champions League games that happened uh, on Friday as well, and then again, what more movements we could see for today, today's games, Saturday's games, sorry, Friday's games, and now Saturday's games on um, uh on uh, Champions League. So, um, basically, this is a pretty cool objective right here, in my opinion. You play 10 squad battles matches, score in five Serie A, five rivals matches with Bundesliga or Serie A players. You get three Any Tots SF packs from objectives, uh, and you get a, a coin boost in FIFA 21. This objective is kind of cool. I mean, you have to grind the game a little bit, but if you can, you can play the 10 squad battles matches uh, on professional difficulty, use a squad battles glitch, That'll be pr pretty easy. You could honestly get the five rivals games done with Bundesliga players and Serie A players. And then, um, actually, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you could. You, you might be able to rig this up so that you could do it the first five games. And you, if those five games count for this as well. Maybe not. Three players in the squad, each from the following leagues, score five. And maybe. So nine players, and they have to score with Bundesliga and Serie A. So, yeah, you might be able to do this five games and then just do five more games. Uh, and then you'll get three tots packs and a boost and then here's the one with the icons That's what it was the icon moments are used in the iconic interplay That's kind of a weird objective name uh, But you get a prime gold players pack in FIFA 20 and the engine chemistry style in FIFA 21 So the objectives today were just kind of okay, but they're not bad. Like I mean It's it's like kind of grindable content and sort of good like the reason the reason why I said it is because you get the three any tots SF packs. It's not terrible, uh, but I honestly wouldn't say that it's like great or anything super fantastic. It just is what it is. And then this Mason Greenwood SBC, the card looks dope. It really does. This is a very highly sought after card. A lot of people wanted it, uh, but instead, uh, you know, it came a bit later. 84, 85 rated squads for this. Footbin is telling me that right now. Uh, this SBC is coming in around at, um, how much is this SBC? 300,000 coins for Mason Greenwood. If you're going to do this SBC, I would highly recommend crafting him if you are able. With 81 plus packs, I know they're not really worth opening right now because if there's not a lot of stuff that is in packs. Uh, but I think I would go out and try to craft this card because honestly, that's kind of expensive to do out of pocket. 300k. For this card right here with a three star um, skill moves and the five star weak foot. So, uh, you know, if you're a GGMU fan, if you're a card collector, then yeah, obviously get in your club. It is a live item as well. You're going to see most likely this card's going to get upgraded. It could get upgraded two more times, I believe. I think it's just two more times, not three. So, this card could get upgraded two more times. That was all the content that we got on Friday. Uh, UCL halftime challenge. I guess we did see this as well. What other SBCs could we see today on Saturday, right? Probably another UCL halftime challenge. Do I think we'll get another live card? I don't think that we'll get another live card. How many have we had? We got Mkhitaryan, Sarabia, Valverde, and now Greenwood. Uh, and then Ansu Fadi. We've had five more live items that have been released in this game. We still have not seen a Champions League summer or a Champions League showdown SBC or any top transfer content yet. I don't understand why we haven't seen just any of that yet. Like come on EA Sports, like drop all we've seen so far for the past week is just live updating road to the final players. Like that's literally the only cards that we've seen in this game added. Uh and it's not saying that it's boring, but I mean, I'd like to see a little bit more 
from EA Sports. Now, let's continue to talk about the upgrades because the Europa League cards that deserved upgrades, Martial, Handanovic, uh, Diego Carlos, if we go take a look at the front screen of FIFA, uh, or Footbin, I mean, some of these cards are on here. Carlos got upgraded, Jimenez got upgraded, Martial, Handanovic, and Die uh, I already said Diego Carlos. I think there was four items that got upgraded. I think it was just four. So obviously, guys like Martial, uh, what happened with his price after he did get the upgrade, I'm imagining he, I don't know exactly when he got the upgrade, but I'm assuming it was uh, a couple hours ago. And it looks like his price has honestly just been chilling. I don't think it's really going to go that much higher. You know, it probably went up a little bit today at, uh, towards the end of the day because of people linking this card to Mason Greenwood. And you might see a little bit more of this card rising a little bit just because it's rare. It's getting close to his price max though. So I don't really think this is a good investment. Even if he does go to a 92, which I think he will be getting there, um, he, his max price range is 280,000 coins, and EA are not updating price ranges like at all. Here, here's a perfect example. Harry Kane at, was in Team of the Week like two, what, two or three weeks ago? The man's still extinct at 100,000 coins, right? Is Akin Fenua still extinct? Because Akin Fenua was extinct at 50k as well. Yeah, he's actually back down. He's just not that desired anymore. But all I'm saying is don't expect price range updates from EA Sports um, for these live items. So if they're getting close to their max or if they're, they're getting close to something uh, where they, um, you know, went up a bunch, like this th this card's max is 55. Oh, wow. Raul Jimenez is max price right now, 55K. What about Wendell? This is one that I'm actually interested in a little bit because a lot of people had invested in this card. That's a sick looking card. GG's. Uh, what happened with this one? He is at 46,000 coins with a max of 60. Uh, he's honestly been like upper 50s all day. Interesting. So it looks like he's actually gone down since the upgrade came out. Looks like there might have been a bit of over investing on this card is what it seems to me. Uh, because he was in the 50Ks after they did win Wednesday, Thursday, even yesterday, staying above the like the higher 50 range. And now he's down about 10,000 coins. So is this an investment at some point? Absolutely, because this is still a live item that could get upgraded. Watch kind of the maybe, maybe you watch this card into the morning a little bit more. This is still a desirable card. If I would see this uh, drop anywhere down in the range, wow, he was 42, 43K in the early week. If this guy gets down to like 41, 42, 43,000 coins, maybe even like 45, I might snag one for the club because this card could definitely be back at 60,000 coins uh, when the hype continues for uh, the Europa League games later on this next week. So just kind of keep an eye on this one. I don't know if any of the other ones dropped. Uh, what if I take a look at like Juan Jesus? Because they lost. So this card's not going to get upgraded anymore. What is this guy? 45,000 coins? Yeah, so he was up at 60k. And then after they lost, I'm assuming he just tanked uh, down. Yeah, so we just tanked a bunch down after that game. Uh, it's been kind of around like the 40, 45k right now. Looks like an undercut, kind of low. Uh, but he is not going to get any more upgrades throughout the year. Neither is uh, Mkhitaryan. So if he did that SBC, bit of a rip. Uh, but it is what it is. So again, I mean, if you want to buy any of these Road to the Final cards and use them in, in your game, in your team, uh, we're talking um, the Europa League cards right now because these are the only ones that have gotten upgraded. And based on this time frame, since it took them basically, to, what is this? It took them two days-ish to upgrade these cards after the Europa League games finished. Uh, I would expect that the these cards, the Dybala, would probably get updated on Sunday night. So like Juventus today, if we look at some of the Champions League games, uh, Juventus and Manchester City uh, end up, go or excuse me, not Juventus, Lyon. Lyon end up going through. I, I was thinking of Juventus' scoreline today. So Lyon actually go through on aggregate, knocking out Juventus. So instead of looking at Dybala, we should be really looking at um, Depay. So Lyon goes through to play Manchester City in the quarterfinals. So of course, Manchester City, a guy like Mares is going to get upgraded. Now there's not a ton of hype with this card because he already has a team of the season and it's the only live item from, um, from Manchester City, but he is extinct at the moment where he's kind of been chilling out all day. 110k. We, we need the price range update there. What happened with Dybala? Because now, you know, this is an item that I would get kind of interested in. How much did he drop? 100K. Wow. This guy's literally down 100,000 coins. He was 215K earlier today, down to 98. He was down at 93,000 coins. This is something that I would get interested in right here, boys. 
I would get interested in this because I know his Tots cards 170, but these road to the finals are so rare um, that I do think it's going to rebound at some point. So, you know, if there's cards that are very popular, like a, a Dabala like this, um, any of the games that are played today, who plays today? Bayern and Chelsea, Barcelona and Napoli. Let's say Barcelona pull through, or let's say Napoli pull through. Either Allen or uh, Usman Dembele, whichever one of those two cards drops off a cliff today because it's not going to get upgraded anymore. Uh, like th This card is still kind of inflated, right? Because they play game, they play their game today. Um, the loser of the Napoli-Barcelona game, I'm going to be very interested in to possibly buy in the low. Um, now, I, you know, the, um, the Chelsea and Bayern game, I don't think you'll see a lot of market movements around Conte because Conte should have the fact that he's not going to get upgraded should be in his price already because, I mean, this guy's 310. Uh, that's almost flippable for a small profit right there, but it's probably not worth it. Um, this card, if it drops at all tomorrow and it's sell off after the game, Chelsea are down 3-0. And now, as long as Chelsea don't start to make a comeback, Bayern should be going through. So I wouldn't really get too interested in that one, in my opinion. I don't think I'd mess with that one too much just because I feel like there's not a ton of room, uh, for that Conte to go up. Even if Chelsea do, if Chelsea do come back, then I, I could see that card going up a decent amount, but uh, I would not really focus on that one too much. Goretzka is probably uh, going to stay high and keep rising. I mean, look, I, I watched a card of this transfer list like two weeks ago at 115K, and he's now 230,000 coins. So uh, a lot of these road to the finals are up an insane amount. And again, I think based on how these Europa League cards got upgraded, I'm thinking these Champions League road to the finals are going to get, um, they're going to get upgraded on Sunday night. So it's not tonight on Saturday night, but on Sunday night, unless EA upgrades them early. Uh, that is what I'm kind of thinking for these dudes right here. So you'll probably see them get their plus ones on Sunday night. Rest of the market today. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming SBC fodder went up today because of Greenwood 83s or 5,000 coins. Yeah. 80, SBC fodder is back to being very expensive. People are doing the icon SBCs, the 86 pluses that they're still in the game. Uh, other content that we could see today. I hope we get something new, man. A, a Champions League show, a showdown. Uh, give us some sort of other like pack, please, EA. Like, I mean, you, you got to keep the menu content flowing because right now this preseason promo is definitely not as big of a W. It's more of an L uh, than what I'm seeing from what Summer Heat was. Honestly, it's it's kind of just transitioning over to an L, which sucks. Uh, but it is kind of the end of FIFA anyways, and it is what it is. All right, boys. So if you did your Greenwood, hey, if you're pumped for Greenwood, let me know. If you didn't, drop it down in the comments. Let me know if you did Greenwood and what your takes, what your take would be on these new objectives as well. I'm kind of a fan of this Tots triple threat because you get three Tots packs uh, for playing 10 games, basically. So I don't mind that at all. And then, of course, if you want, if you're hyped for your engine chemistry style in FIFA 21, you can play with some icon uh, moments cards and, and get that. So again, the road to the final cards are kind of the craze right now. Like that's the stuff that's really going on in this game. It's crazy that right now in August, yes, we have champions league that is going on, but it's kind of crazy to me that we're not worried about the best cards in the game. Like we're not team of the years, team of the seasons. Yes, they're in packs. Um, but the cards that we're honestly worrying about the most on the market are cards that are not even close to those in rating, right? I mean, some of them are similar. Ibala is 93, of course, but like Allen, 90 rated. Martial, 91 rated. Now, I'm glad EA gave them the plus three boost, but still. Uh, not irrelevant, but just a little bit less relevant than some of those TOTS cards, some of those Team of the Year cards, and the likes of those. So if you have any uh, questions or whatever, drop them down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's going to be a nice day of Champions League football and then, of course, we have a quick turnaround with some Wednesday, Thursday games for Champions League next week as well. So we'll be talking about that as we go into the week this next week. But again, boys, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.